Quite frequently at API, we get video submitted to us by people who think they've seen something weird in the sky. Quite often, most often, it turns out to be not so weird. But if you're watching this, you're probably hoping that someday your time will come and you'll see something and you want to make sure you capture it on video. We also really want you to capture it on video. So here's some basic steps to keep in mind so that we will get the best quality we possibly can. First, if you're in a car, whether you're driving or a passenger, if you can pull over and get out of the car safely, then by all means, please do. Second, if you're inside and you can get outside quickly and safely, do that. Video shot from outside with nothing between you and the object of interest but air are the best. Get out whatever camera you have handy. In 99% of cases, it's your cell phone. Get your camera out, hold it in landscape position with both hands, make sure your fingers are not covering the, the aperture, and then get your elbows in tight, and then point it at the object of interest, and look, just look over your phone just a little bit so you can actually see it with your eyes as well, and start shooting. Shoot video. Don't worry whether your camera is good enough to capture it or not, just start shooting. As the object moves, move with your feet to, tra to track it, and then when it's completely out of sight, then you can stop shooting. Keep shooting until it's gone. Don't say, well, I got five seconds, that's good enough. Keep shooting. While you are shooting for the first few seconds, talk. It's such and such a date, such and such a time, 1732 Eastern Standard Time, and I am seeing an object that is moving from right to left across my field of view, and it's moving really fast, and I've never seen a shape like that before, something like that, you know, uh, color and so forth. It should only take you a few seconds to say those things, then be quiet for a while, because we want to capture any sound that might be on the recording. If there are other people present with you, have them say what they're seeing as well. Hold it tight, keep it stable, landscape if possible. Track it using your feet, your arms only if it changes elevation. If you can't, if it's way high up above your head, you may not be able to keep your elbows tight. That's okay. Just hold it as steady as you can. Do not zoom in. Zooming in is bad. Why? Because we need reference objects to understand what we're seeing in the video. Reference objects like the moon or a, a tree, a building, a bridge, a church steeple, a lamppost, uh, a backstop. I'm looking at a, a baseball backstop right now. Um, playground, anything that's visible in the same frame with the object. Now, if the object's up high, you may need to go to vertical to capture both the reference object and the object in the sky. But, uh, if that's what you have to do, do it, because the, the reference objects are very important. Keep shooting until the object is gone. After it's gone, stop shooting, start shooting again. Bring it up, talk to any witnesses around you, and also show the area, if it's, especially if it's daytime, show the area and mark off various objects in the view. That's very important. Just speak them into the into the uh, phone. And that will help us a lot when we're doing the investigation. Let me just recap. If you're not inside and you can get safely and quickly outside, please do so. Two, shoot video. Shoot the entire duration of the event, if at all possible. 
three, hold it sta steady and stable, arms tight, landscape, and move with your feet instead of your arms, okay? Keep shooting. Do not zoom in. That's really, if you, if you keep to the, those things, you're much more likely to get a good, useful video or something. So hopefully that will help you. And it's not too many things to remember. Well, we hope to see a video from some of you in the near future. Thanks for watching.